When space is at a premium and you've got nowhere left to grow, there's only one solution. Reach for the skies. Given a combination of the right crops, vertical supports and wall-hugging planters, you can pack a lot more into the space you have available. In this video, we look at how to plan a vertical vegetable garden so you can get the most from your plot. Climbing plants offer a logical way to begin growing skywards. Suitable vegetables include polar climbing beans, climbing peas, sweet potatoes, vining tomatoes, plus sprawling types of zucchini, cucumber, melon and squash that can be trained up supports. Allow plants to find their own way up supports, or tie them in at intervals to encourage them upwards. Many structures can offer support for skyward plants, from simple rows of bamboo canes to more complex or decorative structures. Arbours and arches look complete with climbers such as passion fruit or a grapevine, or how about climbing squashes or beans with coloured pods or fruits? The pods or fruits will then dangle down to create a feature that's both delicious and attractive. Trellis, either bought or is here homemade from woody prunings, could be used for a wall of climbing veggies or sweet peas. Wicker or bamboo wigwams offer a space saving and arguably more attractive alternative to the usual rows of canes, while obelisks and pergolas present decorative solutions to growing upwards. Our garden planner features many support options that can be selected and dropped into your garden plan. Many tree fruits can be trained into a vertical plane, either against a wall or fence, or along freestanding wire supports. Apples, pears and cherries are just a few examples. These trees may be trained to produce single-stemmed cordons, fan shapes, parallel branched espaliers or other fence-hugging forms. Use sturdy horizontal wires strained between fence posts to create the necessary supports for wall trained fruit. Cane fruit, such as raspberries and blackberries, naturally grow tall. Left unsupported, the canes have a habit of flopping over to smother neighbouring crops. Parallel wires secured between upright posts will keep them in line. Our garden planner has a range of space efficient plants to choose from. For example, this apple cordon. Click once to select. Move the cursor to where you want it to appear on your plan, click to place, then drag using the corner handles to extend to multiple plants if desired. The planner also helps you to select and place supporting structures. Take these pole beans for example, they need some bamboo canes to climb up. Let's head up to the selection bar, scroll through to find what we're after, click to select, click again to place and, holding the mouse down, drag out to the desired length. There we go. Make your garden work harder for you by including any number of wall-mounted or step planters, planting pockets, tower planters and hanging baskets. Fill them with herbs, salads and strawberries, then watch a blank space take on a whole new life. The garden planner has lots of ideas for suitable containers. Simply click the information button for a description of each and its suitability for your garden. You can make your own wall-mounted planters from recycled food tins that have been lined with plastic, or sturdy bags, or parallel rows of window boxes or tubs. Old pallets are widely available, and turning them into vertical planters is a great way to reuse them. Check they are safe for reuse by looking for the pallet stamp. Stamps should display the IPPC logo, plus the letters EPAL, HT or DB, which means the wood hasn't been chemically treated. Hammer or hang your recycled containers into position before filling with potting soil. Wall-mounted planters are likely to require regular watering because of the rain shadow cast by the wall. Micro or drip irrigation systems deliver water efficiently and can be coupled with a timer to automate delivery of the water. Walls or fences must be strong enough to hold the considerable weight of damp potting soil. In most climates you will also want to make the most of sunshine by picking a surface that faces the midday or afternoon sun. Any heat absorbed during the day will then be reflected back onto your plants at night, speeding growth and, of course, harvest time. It's the right combination of vertical growing crops, supports and the correct containers that will help you to get the most from a small space. Of course, there are plenty of other ideas out there for vertical vegetable gardens. If you've got one, don't keep it to yourself. Share it by dropping us a comment below. And with seed sowing beginning in earnest, now's the ideal time to subscribe to enjoy more great gardening videos.